expand and contract depending on the environment. They very much evolve with their environment, yes, and um, you know, some, some issues you could say with, with islands and with mountains that uh, if there are um, competition in some way, they've got nowhere basically to go unless they're carried from one country to another um, by birds, etc., or by man. And that's one of the concerns that we have in, in changing habitats at the moment and you know, potential and changes in climate. Um, you know, where do some of these um, plants go to if they're actually on, on the brink unless they're able to evolve um, quickly? So something like the Chelsea Flower Show, which is a great kind of panopticum of, of foreign plants. I mean, it's very much, we, the appeal of it is going to see plant species and flowers that we wouldn't otherwise be able to see. Yeah, Chelsea, the, game, the, game, you know, the history of Kew, people really visited uh, Kew to be able to see this rich diversity of plants, you know, in what was then, you said that, you know, the, the empire, um, and of our role at the, uh, that stage was to take plants from one country to another to look for their economic value. So sometimes I'm sure, you know, there could have been some other, you know, alien bodies associated with, well, they wouldn't have been alien, they would have been associated with those plants. And in their natural environment, you would have, as Ken was saying, you most likely have to have this control factor. You take some 